Well, if you toured my garden a couple of years ago, you never would have seen any of these kinds of plants in it. I just didn't like them. Well, this plant snippet is about a plant that I've now fallen in love with, and in the past two years have been planting all kinds. It's called Epimidium, common name barrenwort or fairy wings. But the genus Epimidium is a group of plants that are low growing. They grow about, oh, I don't know, maybe 12 to 18 inches tall, spread by rhizomes, an herbaceous perennial that produces these very unique leaves that are very long, slender, semi heart shaped. Sometimes they have, you know, some spines on the margins, but when they emerge, sometimes they emerge with the most unique and interesting colors. Add to that these beautiful flowers clustered all over the plant. Cultivar you're looking at right here is called Amber Queen, producing these gorgeous yellow flowers. Just look at those, all the clusters together with a very unique look to them. In clusters of small flowers give you a really cool color effect. So between the unique foliage colors and the flowers, you get a really great herbaceous perennial. Flowers can be yellow, they can be red, pink, and variations of white and cream color. Lots of different types. Plant breeders are breeding them. It's a wonderful group of plants. And this is one of my favorite cultivars that I'm showing you right now. It's called Sandy Claws. Look at the giant leaves, kind of purple or burgundy color with yellow flowers. So consider maybe thinking using this plant in the, in the garden. It's, uh, it's just one of those plants that'll work well in a natural area with, under trees because there's lots of competition for moisture. So consider Epimidium. The next time you go out and buy a plant, which I know most of you guys do all the time,